Steve Bowers welcoming you to Studio 6 and we have changed locations. We've moved out of our studio and into the studios of Jackson Records on Lafayette Street here in Jackson, Tennessee, which is a splendid studio. And we have as a special guest, someone who is from Sweden making her first visit to Tennessee. And we call her Tessa, but her, your name is really? Therese. Right. And it's spelled? Oh, T-E-R-E-Z-E. -E. Okay. And once again, it's pronounced? Therese. Right. <laughs> I knew that. You did? Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and who's with you? I have Henrik and Ova. Okay. Now, they work with you in what capacity? You've been working together for over a decade now. Yeah, right? we have. I, I've known Ova for all my life, and okay. we started um, a group together for 17 years ago, and then we met Henrik 10 years ago, so okay, we've right. been together ever since. Now, you're working on an album. The reason Is that the reason you came to the to States, to Nashville? Yeah, that's okay. right. Okay, and, and working with Larry Rogers, who is, is one of the owners here, and so that's how all this is, is put together. And we want to thank Jimmy Axum and everyone for, for making this possible for us to do this here. So, so what are you working to do then? You came to the States, why? Because I want to be where country music is. Okay. Yeah. All right. How did you get into country music? Well, my dad introduced me when I was about five, and he played me a song of Becky Hobbs, uh, okay. Looking yeah. Better. Yeah. Do you know it? Yeah. Yeah. So, they used to spin records back in the 80s, and so Becky charted in those days. Yeah. 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 So and I listened to it and I wouldn't stop singing for for the entire day and I was just hooked. So that's okay. Yeah. What was his tie to country music? In, in well, interesting? I don't know how he got introduced, but he's been a musician for since he was 16. So okay. and he just uh, loves country music as well. All right, when when did you decide this is what you wanted to do? Then? When I was six. Okay, so you made that decision then. Yeah. You didn't back up. Yeah, because I sang it. Y'all been working together 18 years, so that's when you started, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you you moved into it professionally. At what point then in your life? Um, well, I've always been singing and writing, uh, but I think uh, back in two thousand is when I really, you know, jumped to the conclusion that this is what I want to do full time. So okay, so this is what this is what you do. All right, if people want to find your music or whatever, how do they do that? I'm on Spotify. Uh, the new mu music is not out yet, but uh, it's going to be out. The first single is released in July okay. when we get back. So We're doing this in 2016 to set a context because we'll continue to run this program. And so I want to set that, that, that stage and that reference point. All right, so you're here. You're working with Larry Rogers. You're yeah. producing the album. Then, yeah. Right? Okay, and uh, so so would you do all the album here, or have you done part uh, of it? Elsewhere? Part of it in Sweden, but uh, we did two songs here uh, okay. this time around, and yeah. Larry's producing those okay. two songs. All right. so. What is the, the, the music scene like in, in Sweden for, for you? Um, um, with, uh, live is, music, yeah, you mean? Live music and work, do, do you get airplay with, with records? and? Yeah, formats? we have airplays, and yeah, okay. it's, uh, I think it's pretty much the same, same but okay. it's not in the same amount as over here. Okay. It's, uh, Sweden is a small country, and country music is not as big over there yet, but okay. it's getting there. Anyway, so, okay. yeah. So, so a fan fan base there, and then and then record sales. Do you work outside Sweden, other other countries in Occasionally, Europe? Occasionally, but mostly but most in, of it Sweden. Is, is yeah. in Sweden. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now you're writing this material, right? Yeah. Okay. And so and you've been writing f for a long time. Yeah, I have. I started writing as a kid, but I didn't I didn't feel that I had so much to say of importance. So okay. I I kind of put it aside for a while. But then uh, I had an accident, and then I it helped me. Um, get through that part okay. of my life, and okay. that's when I started writing was every day. Was that before 2000 or after? It was actually in 2000. 2000, yeah. so that was a life changer for it you It was, then. yeah. Okay, so it you was. come out of that saying, okay, I'm going to do this. Yeah. Got back to writing. I mean, you only live once, so oh. you have to go for it. That's true. Yeah. And uh, so, so you decided to do that then. So what is your hope then for this material that you're doing here? Well, I... I hope that I'll make it all the way, of course, okay. and I'm going to work real hard to get there. Okay. Yeah. Meaning you want to? I want to work in, here. Yeah. Work in the United States, yeah. not just Sweden. Work in the United States. Okay. Both here and in, in Sweden, okay. of course. Well, we, we want to get a chance to, to tell us about this first song. That, that you've got. Uh, Without you, it's a song that I wrote for my um, boyfriend, actually, uh, okay. and it's just it. I wanted to tell him how much he mean, means to me and okay. um, that I, that he's always on my mind. So it's just a, a true love song. All right. Here we go. Thank you. We're going to take this break. This is Tessa.
thousand miles for you down the never-ending road. I don't know what I would do in a life without you. I would wait a lifetime for you. Would you Describe that as a mature love song. Sorry. Yeah, a mature love song. That's nice. That's Thank nice. You. That's Thank wonderful. You. you know, most of country songs go the other way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Heartbreak. <laughs> but you can never have enough. You know, too, too much love. That's life, right. right. Well, it's wonderful yeah. when when it's there, and so that's a that's a special thing. Mm -hmm. do, do you, writing in the English and, and mm -hmm. doing this, I mean, this is our language here, but you mm -hmm. speak and do other things. So, what is that like? Do you think now, and when you're writing, is yeah. it always in English? Yeah. It is, yeah. Okay, so so you've adapted to this. Then. I have, and it's more natural. Okay. Sounds weird, maybe, but it, it is more okay, natural more to right. okay. for me to to, to, to write in, in English. English. Yeah. Okay, and, and yeah. did did that take some adapt? or understanding the, the language or the way we phrase things sometimes is because um, it's colloquial for us sometimes. Yeah. Not, you know, people in Great Britain think that we're horrible. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we, we actually learn British English British in English, that's, that's what I think. So, yeah. so it's a very different thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Well, I don't know if it, I don't know. So you've gotten into the Southern English thing or whatever it is that we do here. Well, I try to, but I sound weird. Um, no, it doesn't. It, it surprised doesn't? me. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, you sound... You know, I sound southern. Yeah, you sound. Oh, I, I think did we. It I think, <laughs> no, I, I think you're going to pass. No. <laughs> I, th I, th I think we can. I think we can get you through the gate. Oh um, well, that's yeah. great. So, but you think in this language now? And, yeah. And write, well, yeah. Well, not yeah. always when I talk Swedish, of course. But right. when I'm I'm writing and working, it's in English. Yeah. Do you ever write in Swedish, or is that? I did. I wrote, I wrote one song for my kids. Okay. Yeah. All right. But that's the only one. Okay. So you so you you've done this. The material for you then comes where this obviously out of out of life experience and yeah, personal expression. Yeah, mostly everyday li life and. Okay. just uh, from experiences okay. and also a bit fictional of course but lyric first or are mm, or music? it varies it varies okay. but I think most of the time lyrics first I get an idea but right. uh, like without you then would have been yeah, okay, I feel this way so I start yeah it was actually in our summer house back in Sweden and I was just looking at him and he was he's so great with our okay. kids and okay. I just looked at my family and I, okay. I got touched by it so okay. I wrote the song he must be a pretty special guy then. he is yeah, okay. he's the best yeah okay so children yeah I have two two okay age uh, and one and three okay oh, and a girl. okay wow yeah. 
Yeah. All right. So, yeah. Tiny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, busy. Yes. Okay. And, and so mixing that with career is, is, an, is another dimension then. You know. Yeah. Does well, that, has it changed you then, motherhood? Yeah, has it? it has. I mean, I've grown a lot since, they, since I got my kids. And I think for the better, okay. I'm more calm. And I, yeah, okay. I don't know. All right. Well, we're interested to see what it does to your writing and perceptions. And yeah, other well, things. yeah, I think that my writing is growing too. I okay. mean, yeah, I think it's like combined, like me and the writing and right. my feelings. So. We're doing this obviously in an acoustic setting. What, what when people hear your album, what yeah. will the instrumentation be? What What are you doing with these? Well, the songs? thing is that I love country music of all um, genres. Okay. So I I like modern country and I also like the more traditional. So this is we had I wanted to mix the both into the album so okay. it's a little bit of both I guess All right. yeah so the, the instrumentation would be um, guitars drums, yeah guitars and drums and, 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 and yeah. some special yeah. effects yeah, you put on there <laughs> yeah so let's, talk, let's talk to the producer yeah, here, you know, that's right probably so. better yeah it's it, it's basically the regular like rock setup with drums and bass and okay. electric acoustic okay. guitars okay. and keys and backing vocals okay. you know so no. Does that change how you present the material then when you're doing this kind of setting, yeah. this much more relaxed? Uh, yeah, we want, we want to do it in two different ways. ways okay. Yeah, so like dry. make the songs come to life in, a, in okay. another right. way. It's a real pleasure to meet you. I have this opportunity to talk. Well, what is, nice what is next then, uh, that you've got? As the, the next material. song, song. Uh, it's called If My Life Were a Song. And I mean, it's just, it's just what it is. Okay. I mean, you can just write anything or make up anything you in a song, guess. so yeah. that would be kind of an interesting yeah. way right, to look yeah. at life. Okay, All right. so Thank if you. life were a song. Yeah. Okay. Sing it with me. 
may your heart sing along in sweet harmony. You have been touching my soul for so long, and you've been setting me free. Oh, if my life were a song, would you sing? So far, you seem disgustingly happy. I am happy. I mean, I'm in Tennessee for the first time. I mean, I couldn't be happier. Okay, well, this, is, this is good. Well, this yeah. is this is kind of uplifting, positive material yeah. here. Yeah, you know, like I said, you know, we, we think yeah, country think. music sometimes. We think of that completely. You ever write sad songs? I do. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, so when when it hits, it hits. It hits okay. hard. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, that is that is good. How do how do you? see this progression I mean, you get an album done okay mm -hmm. then what's the next step how do you get showcased here or what uh, is the procedure or maybe and maybe that's for producers and others to to talk about but it, you know it's like okay I'm in Sweden mm -hmm. making my first trip to Tennessee mm -hmm. and I want I want to be here yeah. I want people to know me I want people to listen to this music and mm -hmm. so what's the step what do you do uh, what we've done so far is that we met new people and started okay. uh, like are networking here, right. uh, which is good, and we are on Facebook and Instagram and all those sorts of different pages. Right. Okay. And also back at home, we have a tour planned, which is good for uh, what do you call it, commercial all or right. okay. over here, so that we can work from Sweden uh, and just present ourselves over here. Okay. So yeah, that's the first step, and then we'll just build from there. And I certainly, think. I guess social media makes it in some ways easier to get noticed or somebody yeah. can see you without. Yeah, you, have yeah, to be you can here put on that. Um, like little live shows out okay. like this one. Okay. Or, then or, like, I guess that like also it, it'll give you a chance to see how people react to this yeah. material. Yeah. Right? So it's always, I, I, I would think that for a producer, you know, every song is a good one, right? Well, <laughs> no, he's kind of picky. Oh, is he? Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. But, but I mean, you know, but, you know, no one goes in to record a bad song. No, right? I mean. Yeah. Uh, but, mm, but I, I think but also, I mean, you, later on when you listen back to the album or you, you see, you think you have 10 or 12 good songs and you, then you realize that four of them are the really good ones, good ones you know, okay. because you're kind of married to them in a way when you work with them. Yeah. So, yeah, but I mean, it's a, it's a progress also. And I'm, I mean, you, you, um, you kind of find out as you as you go and but but uh, what, what I like is that uh, you may write a song for a certain type of production and when you start actually recording it becomes something different okay. so and that's uh, that, so that's it changes kind of, in the studio then yeah it, it does and, and uh, I mean like when we were, uh, these couple of days ago when we worked in studio 19 with Larry uh, we had some musicians from here playing so uh, right. it was the real deal. They were okay. playing live off the floor. Okay. And they just, I mean, then you hear the song uh, played by guys you never met before, and it's something totally different, yeah. you okay. know? So, and that- it comes to life in a way. Yeah, and uh, I mean, it's, it's like just proof of the, uh, the, the magic of, of being able to, to play, oh, you know, okay. to okay. Br uh, breathe life into, a, okay. life into a song like that, you know, so it's amazing. It's so amazing something experience. unexpected happens there. Yeah, yeah right. it always does when okay. there, is, there are musicians involved, yeah. when okay. they're as good as th these yeah. guys, okay. you know. Yeah. For sure. So you have the song, you think this is a pretty good song, then you hear th them start doing it like, okay, yeah. wow, this is different. It was a good song. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I want all the writer credit on that one. Is that what he's saying? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Cut it around. Thank, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. you picked I wrote up most on that, of that one. and you yeah. know it, right? Okay. All right. So, so there, you, there you go. Well, it's it's intriguing then. So so the Nashville musicians and you're not doing all the album in Nashville. You're doing part of it in, in Sweden as well. Part so of it in Sweden. Several yeah. sets of musicians on there. Do you cover? Do you covers on these albums or is it all not original? Not on this. Uh, okay. Album, all this will yeah. be original. Then. Original. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Then. When, when you do covers, what do you look for in a, in a show? Oh, that's a 
good question. I mean, good songs, good okay. good music. And, and then, you mentioned Becky Hobbs. Yeah. kind of got you started. Well, and, yeah, I did uh, um, Looking Better when I was a kid with mm -hmm. her, and I also sang um, Carly Carter a lot okay. when yeah, I was okay. a kid. Yeah, okay, all right, yeah. Uh, so I did that, and then, of course, Dolly Parton. Yeah. She's a okay. favorite of mine. All right, so, right. yeah. All right. Well, I see it's really good to have you here. All right, this Thank third you. song that you got, okay. Yeah, it's called, I don't remember. <laughs> Just one sec. What's it called? <laughs> <laughs> and words are not enough. Yeah, words are not enough. Yeah. Words are not enough. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's a pretty sad song. This is a sad song. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to sing the other side here. Yeah. I'm gonna words sing. are not enough. Sometimes you can go too far. Yeah. <coughs> okay. Exactly. And you can't really repair what what yeah. damage you've done. So. Yeah. That's right. That's when attorneys start showing up at your house. <laughs> Subpoenas and all that stuff. Right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Exactly. Hope you never go there. No. All right. All right. Very good. I won't. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Words can kill, words can kill, 
and she's hurting still. And now you finally cross that line. Words are not enough this time. And now you finally cross that line. Words are not enough this time. That song came from what? Uh, well, I think that most of us have experienced um, betrayal or right, yeah. in, in one way or another. Okay. And so personal so experience I, or yeah. watching a movie? or you know, No, it's uh, personal. Yeah. Okay, so, why? so, so it all comes out there. It's very well done. Well, I, thank I, you I so like much. This. I like this. The, the other songs on, on the album mm. then, uh, you said you've, you've written all of those or, or co-written all, all of those. Mm. So there'll be how many? Uh, Twelve. Twelve, okay. Or so, if we get feeling maybe 14, but 12 okay. is what so we decided on. Target. You'll yeah. do how many of them in the States? Uh, two this time around. Okay. Yeah. And then, so this is, project's been underway for? Uh, well, I started writing most of the songs a year ago, or okay. four or five maybe, not most of okay. them, but some of them. Okay. Yeah. Right. And it's been, a, it's, it's been a journey, and they weren't done until now. So, you know, okay. they weren't good enough before. Okay. So you, you, so the song lives with you. Then you keep yeah. changing it. Okay. Yeah. If I'm not satisfied, sometimes you just feel it like without you. It was okay. finished earlier. Okay. But yeah. But sometimes you just have to. Yeah. Every once in a while, one lands and it's just done, right? Yeah. But yeah. But then sometimes the others are just uh, okay. Do you seek help to finish them out? Do you go to other people and say, okay, here's where I am, or do you work it out yourself? Yeah. Well, I go to you, I come to you right. and I ask, is this good? Or and then we talk it through, and then he okay. puts his magical producer fingers on them, and okay. they turn out great. I think. If it's not good, how do you tell her? He doesn't I tell have her. To. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> so you just say that, okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay, you know, go go back. That that is yeah. the difficult thing. Save us both some time. Some time, okay. yeah, yeah. Because when you're writing, right? I mean, you, if I thought it wasn't any good, I wouldn't be writing it, right? I mean, you, yeah. you, you know, so you know, so. I, I think you have yeah. Well, to, you have to believe in yeah. what you do, but yeah. also be open-minded that not everything that you do is good. Good, okay. Because then, I mean, then you can't develop and be better. Yeah. You always have to strive to be better. I've had people try to tell me that, and I never have one. No. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, continued best to you. It's really a delight so to have this experience. Can, can you do a couple of colors before we get away? Well, could you, I? You, I you, would you, love you, to. Yeah. Love to do that. Right, we'll wrap this yeah, up. But it's, a, it's, it's interesting uh, because usually when they come to the south, and the humidity is what, what they notice. Your thing is the air conditioning. Yes, you my voice is real. So it changes. Things. Yeah, you don't have air conditioning. because yeah. Sweden, we have like one one day of summer a year. Okay. So okay. we don't really need air conditioning there. Okay. <laughs> so right. when, you know, in the cars here, well, we do have air conditioning in our cars, but driving down here for two hours yeah. and um, we're not used to it, so yeah. it gets dry. When you're as old as I am, you remember the South before air conditioning and it changed oh, everything for it us. It did, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You, don't, you don't sit on the front porch anymore. Yeah. You don't know your neighbors anymore. <laughs> you, you know, and, you're and just all, inside. You're just inside yeah. all the time. So it, it really changed the whole social dynamic of the South. <laughs> But it, uh, it, it's interesting to see that somebody comes in and says, the air conditioning has got to go. Mm. Heart and then all of you will meet up and have a <laughs> yeah, barbecue. That, that, well, it, would be, it would be different. It yeah. sure would be. It's a real pleasure. Thank you for this opportunity. Well, thank and you thanks, so much for so, having us. Thanks to Larry Rogers and Jimmy Exxon for making this possible. So we're going to close out with a coat of many colors. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. What key would that be? That would be A. A? G. 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 Sorry. G. This is, let's just go with the flow this on this one. This would be a great opportunity for me to, to, to learn the song. <laughs> me too. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Can I do the back through the years, I go wandering once again. Back through the seasons of my youth And I recall a box of rags someone gave us And how my mama put those rags to use There were rags of many colors In 
and every piece was small and I didn't have a coat and it was way down in the fall Mama sold this coat together sewing every piece with love she made my coat of many colors that I was so proud of and while she sewed she told the story from the Bible she had read about a coat of many colors Joseph wore and then she said perhaps this coat will bring you good luck and happiness and I just couldn't wait to wear it and mama blessed it with a kiss my coat of many colors that my mama made for me made only from rags but I wore it so proudly and although we had no money for I was rich as I could be in my coat of many colors my mama made for me so with patches on my breeches holes in both my shoes in my coat of many colors I hurried off to school just to find the others laughing and making fun of me in my coat of many colors my mama made for me and though I couldn't understand it for I felt I was rich and I told them all the love my mama sewed in every stitch and I told them all the story mama told me while she sewed and held my coat of many colors was worth more than all their clothes and they didn't understand it and I tried to make them see one is only poor only if they choose to be and although you had no money for I was rich as I could be in my coat of many colors my mama made for me made just for me very good thank you thank you so much thank you very much i like both those versions yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think so all right